Hello guys, this is John AE5X, and I want to make a video that shows the problems with the built-in keyer of the Z BitX. I'm going to look at it on both Iambic B, which is what most CW operators use, and Iambic A. You can see that there are uh, frequent problems with the timing with this internal keyer. Before I do that though, I want to show you that the paddles work and that I work, that I know CW. And uh, so we're going to look at how it's supposed to be um, by going through the alphabet with uh, my very old paddles. These are not the ones I normally use. I use solid state paddles, but there is no movement of either paddle when I key in characters. And I want you to be able to see movement. So I'm using my uh, old paddles from... Uh, 40 something years ago that still work perfectly as you will see when I use the uh, the keyer and the uh, Tentec Argonaut to generate the side tone that you're going to hear. You'll see that each time I touch either side of the paddle the proper character is generated um, and later you can contrast that movement with what happens with the Z bit X. So let me go through the alphabet quickly here at about 25 words a minute um, and show you the way it's supposed to sound. Okay, that was the alphabet <clears throat> and my call sign uh, sent perfectly, I think, at probably 25 words a minute. Let's see how the Z bit X looks now at that speed and also at slower speeds. Okay, the Z bit X is hooked up, going into a dummy load. I was going into a dummy load with the um, Argonaut also, by the way. Okay, I've got, uh, let's see, might as well just drop them, turn the power down to zero. got 23 words per minute dialed in we'll leave it there and iambic B is the mode let's see how far I can get through the alphabet Well, not too well. And the reason I did that previously on the uh, other radio with the uh, the keyer, I'll put a link to this keyer if anyone wants to uh, know what it is in the description of the video. Let me go down to 16. Okay. Let me just try to send CQ, 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 DE, my call sign, my call sign. Did you see the E? The uh, second letter of my call sign um, was omitted. Just like that. And again. Got it that time. So as you can see, um, there's, there's no way to have a, a QSO with the uh, Z bit X. That's iambic B, which is what 90%, I think, of all CW operators use, just for the heck of it. Let's go to iambic A. I'm trying to send QRL. Now I'll try CQ. OK, 
Okay, so my call sign that time, but the DE was missing the E. You can go back in the video. Hitting J on your keyboard, by the way, will back the uh, video up 10 seconds. At that time, the E in the DE and the E in the AE 5X, both uh, both were omitted. So, uh, no, the uh, CW issues have not been solved. That's uh, how it is at uh, 16 words per minute. Very similar at higher speeds. 73, thanks for watching.